just really breaks my heart knowing that there's loads of people out there who are going through so much inside and they're too scared to come out. Okay, is it focused on me? Um, focus on me. Oh, my hair. I don't know. Let me just... My camera doesn't have a flip screen, so I have no idea if I'm in focus or not. Um, so I apologise if I'm not, but fingers crossed I am. I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today... Wait, I didn't check if my mum and dad are home. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. I'm going to be talking about a few things um, that I think is important for young people to talk about. I'm British, I'm 18, uh, I'm not very smart, I didn't pass a lot of GCSEs, I'm rubbish in maths, I think I have dyslexia, I'm not going to like diagnose myself. And I have like a speech problem, which I really don't know what it is. I haven't really been like to do go to the doctors for speech things, I don't know. But I can't really pronounce things. Words get muddled up in my head and I can't really like explain what I'm trying to say. And I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. But if I read a page and then I go to the next page, I forget what I read. So I reread it, but then I get bored of reading. Hence why I didn't really pass any GCSEs because I didn't really study because I couldn't. That's a little bit about me. I have ins insecurities. Um, my boobs are really small and one's bigger than the other and I think this one's bigger than this one and it kind of just like really puts me off I don't know why, it just really does uh, I have a spot there which isn't really an insecurity and I have a weird shaped face so that's a little bit about me um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about today about equality and important things that I feel like us young people should really be thinking about because Soon enough, sadly, our parents will be gone. We'll be the parents. We'll be the ones our kids look up to. And we'll be the ones uh, like having to make the decisions. So I think it's important that we educate ourselves for what we want to work towards in the future. Um, this, is what I, this is what I want. And this is what I want my viewers. Because I've gained quite a lot of subscribers. I think I have like 72 subscribers. So I'm nearly at 100. That's crazy to me. That's, I've been doing YouTube since I was 11 years old. If you... Watch, if you go on my channel and then watch me react to my old videos, I've been doing YouTube since I was like probably 9 to be fair, no, at like 11 I think. And I'm now 18, so about 7 years I've loved doing YouTube. My last video I posted was me reacting to their song, Told You So. Uh, I got emotional <laughs> and I think it's important to talk about em emotions and things like that because I feel like a lot of people are too scared to, uh, especially men, like guys. Um, I have like a gut feeling there's more suicide with guys and girls, especially in this industry so far. Like for the past two years, a lot of men have committed suicide or have died, like just you know, like that kind of mental health things. And I just think it's important to really talk about that. You know, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist, but I'm not the type of feminist to like discriminate against men because I feel like if I wore a shirt that says I'm a feminist. I'd get judged really badly for a negative way because it has got a negative name to it, you know, like, um, it's just a negative, for some reason, femi being a feminist is just a negative thing because of the name, just the word, just because just they like hate, certain feminists hate things, <laughs> like men, um, they hate like men today, which I don't understand because it's not the man's fault today how life is it's the man's fault in the past or this is the people even like it's just our fault in the past making what today's like like it's not my dad's fault they're called we have things called man-sized tissues it's not my dad's fault that we don't have equal pay it's not today's man's fault it's the past and i think it's important to know that and to learn that and to then know that we need to make a change for the future because it'll be our fault for the future like, our kids would be like, it's not today's man's fault, it was our parents back in the day's fault. Because they didn't make a change and it's what it's like today. I think equal pay, or equal pay is like a touchy subject for women, uh, because we don't get equal pay. But there's like certain, like, circumstances, like, if it's a building, say it's a building industry, say a man, or say, okay, say a woman has been in the building industry for five years, she has all the qualifications, she wakes up early, goes to home late, does the same thing every day, but she has more, 
like experience than a man who's just started. She should get paid more than the person who's just started. But it's the same with everyone, you know, that's that's where like equal pay shouldn't be. Like it depends on the hours they work, it depends how much like experience they have and how long they've been working in that industry for. That's where it should like tweak with pay. But say a man and a woman has had the same experience, wakes up the same day, does the same job, does the exact same thing, they should get paid equally. You know, that's where that's where us females get angry. <laughs> I don't I don't get angry about it, but that's just where like I do not agree with not equal pay. Um, but it's not like I said, it's not today's man's fault, but that's how it is. But it's our job to try to make that change for the future, for our kids, for our grandkids, for our great great grandkids. Like we are the future. Like I'm 18, my generation. We're the future, so we need to really. But I think we just need to like learn what we want to make a change and try to make that change for the future, like, for our kids and just for future people. You know, I'm. I'd say I'm a feminist, but I don't hate men. You know, I I support men just as much as I do women. Uh, I think it's important, especially for emotions, because you know, if a guy cries, he gets called a pussy, or you know, you're so like sad, like you should be a man. They have that stereotype of they can't show emotion because they're a man. That's not that's not okay. Because I think that's where a lot of mental heal can't talk mental illness comes like takes place with men because they feel like they can't talk because they're scared they'll get judged. You know, I support men and I care about men just as I do women. You know. And I think it's important everyone does. Um, obviously, I'm a very much a female empowerment person. I'm all about female empowerment, but I'm just as much about men empowerment. Um, yeah, okay, men have had power for like every decade ever. They've had the power over women. But I still believe that we should still support men because it's not their fault it is how it is today. It's the past because they made... I mean, I mean, women have come so fucking far, you know, we have come so far from everything. But it's the past's fault of what today is like, and it's our job to now make a change. Um, so, if you're a viewer and you're still watching this, hi. Um, you know, I support all of you if you're a man watch not, hopefully not like a 40 year old man, but if you're a, a guy watching this, and if you're a girl watching this, if you're gay, if you're bi, if you're straight, if you're black, if you're... what other discriminations are, I don't know, if you're... If anyone, you know, I don't care. I love everyone for who they are. And that's another subject, you know, the LGBT community. I'm a massive supporter. If I had enough money, I would spend so much money for charity for them. Because I think it's so important. Because, like, at the end of the day, it's your life. It's not your mum's. It's not your dad's. It's not your granddad's. Your nan's. Your friend's at school's life. It's yours. Think about it. Tomorrow, you could be dead. And what have you, like, achieved? Like... You know, you might achieve, achieve loads, but like, say, say inside you feel like feel like you want to love a man, or if you want to love a woman, do it. You know, like, be be happy for yourself. Okay, yeah, it might not be the right time to like tell people, but I just don't see why people hate it so much. I think it's just like abnormal. You know, it's not normal to see a man and a man walk down the street kissing. It's not normal. Like. Unfortunately, that it's not like I don't care. I love it. I'm like, yes, you do that. You screw them haters. You kiss in public. I fucking love it. But I mean, like for the other people, it's like not normal. You know, we've grown up watching Cinderella. You know, man and a woman loving each other. There's no, there's no like gay movie. Like you know, for kids to like learn about it. And that's where I think there needs to make a change in the LGBT community to teach our kids it's okay to be gay. <laughs> You know, like there's some kids who are probably like hating themselves, maybe like self-harming, are really, really, really depressed because how they feel inside about who they love isn't right, isn't right to a lot of people and they're too scared to come out. And that's so sad to me. I think it's so stupid. You know, like fucking love who you want to love. It's 2018. Like screw them, honestly. But I just think it's important, us young teenagers or young adults, we need to know what we want to make a change in and try to make that change because soon enough we'll be the ones in control and we'll be the ones making the decisions and I feel like we need to come together and decide the right decisions for our kids and for the future. Like, I really think there should be more education with the gate, like just more education around the LGBT community for kids so they can learn about it 
And if they come across their friend who's gay, or say there's a group of guys and hit one of the, say they football, you know, it's so stereotypical, like American movie, but say there's a group of guys who do football and one of them are gay, you know, they all should love him and support him, not hate him because they're like, oh, you're gonna love me, or oh, don't touch me, and all this. There needs to be, from a young age, that's where we learn things. And you know, we have learnt it's a girl and a boy from the movies and from like our parents and from society. And I think that's, we need to shift that and just bring in, don't, don't change it, but just bring it in as well to say, oh, but there's also this, a girl and a girl can love each other, a boy and a boy can love each other. Like, it's normal, it's, that's okay. Like, always support them because they could be going through a really hard time. Like, you just don't know what's behind the mask, you know? My mum and dad haven't ever taught me about LGBT, but, like, supporting Little Mix from a young age and growing up with them and then Jade bringing the LGBT community into Little Mix and, like, learning about it, learning about RuPaul and watching RuPaul, learning about the drag queens and... It's really important that, you know, Jade from Little Mix is a massive inspiration for all these kids and all these teenagers, maybe adults, that, like, it's okay to love who you want to love, you know, like, I'm in a massive girl band who are going to go global soon. They just left, um, Psycho. <laughs> Good one, Little Mix. I love that. But, you know, they're going to go global and Jade having that platform and she's using, the, well, the, all the Little Mix are, like, they're bringing out little snippet videos of insecurities and why you should love yourself and all this and they're using their platform to really spread it and that's what I think YouTube should do as well like YouTube brings in like oh I don't know I think the average age for like people watching YouTube is probably like 10 to like 24 I guess I don't know like I'd still watch YouTube if I was a 24 year old probably I don't know but you know what? there's such a massive age of young adults and t teenagers watching YouTube and I think it's so important for bigger platform YouTubers to really use that to spread the stuff, you know. Like, if I had the biggest, if I had a big platform, I'd fucking use it to my advantage as fuck. Because, like, how grateful are those YouTubers who are living in, like, fucking LA and, like, mansions or apartments and they're going out buying coffee every day. They don't have to worry about money. They don't have to worry about anything because they have, you know, they're kind of famous in a way. And, like, good for them. Like, they have, obviously, they've worked hard to be where they are. So they obviously deserve everything. But I'm just sad that I'm not seeing any of these big YouTubers really using their platform for the, uh, for other ways. Like, they can create, obviously, they can create what they want to create. I'm not telling them to create certain things. But I just think it's important to really spread this like positivity and equality and self-love and everything across YouTube because that's where like you see people comment on people's YouTubes like I like I don't know like they're really depressed or something and this video has really like cheered them up like it's so important <laughs> and it really frustrates me that I don't see a lot of this kind of talk going around on YouTube and I think there should be especially because people who are watching YouTube are young people, you know, young adults, like I'm 18, I love YouTube, I watch loads of YouTubers, and, you know, there's kids, if you watch Jake Paul, like, his platform is kids, and he should really be using that kind of platform and his videos to, yeah, okay, like, dab on them haters, you know, do what you want to do, Jake, but I mean, <laughs> like, use that platform to s say it's okay to be gay, you know, Teach him about why you shouldn't be bullying the kid who's confused at school. Or you should support him. Ask him how he is. If he's, if you see a girl upset, you uh, ask why. Kind of, uh, I don't, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But you kind of, I think you kind of get the idea of that kind of self love and the importance of using a platform like this to really make a change because I think it's important for us young adults like me to really try and make a change and I don't I'm, I don't feel normal I feel different I feel like the normal nine to five job isn't for me I'm um, okay yeah I have been applying for jobs like in pubs and shops but I just feel like that's not the life I'm supposed to live I know deep down inside I have so much to give and I just 
I just need to give it. <laughs> and I feel like YouTube is the like the warmth in my heart to give this away. And I just think it's so important. I'm getting so sorry. I'm getting. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sad. I cry. Oh, I'm not sad. You know, that's what you shouldn't say. You should. I'm human. I get emotional. But it just really breaks my heart knowing that there's loads of people out there who are going through so much inside and they're too scared to come out and say, like, I'm gay or, you know, to say that they're going through mental illness and they're too scared to say something. And I just think it's so important for us to really empower kids to just just accept that they're human they can love who they want to love and they can cry if they want to cry and i think it's just so important that we need to help each other to really get through this and you know to just make a change within society because you know social media is so so big at the moment and it's been big for the past couple of years but like it's massive like instagram is probably the most like used social media app or it's probably yeah probably instagram young kids now they have that to learn from and they have youtube to learn from i didn't have youtube when i was like that we didn't have youtube as like we do now when i was like 11 years old i think i i think i watched like zoella tell me what's inside her bag <laughs> you, you know and um i we didn't have youtubers like we do now and it's important that we accept that this is how life is for kids. You know, adults hate kids because they have phones and they they don't go out and have fun. Just use it to our advantage. Like, use the phone to teach them about things. Use YouTube to teach them about things. Not like an educational video, but just like a big platform person on YouTube who does really cool videos. So just make a sit down video and just ex talk about this kind of stuff. Because I don't think this is, this is probably going to get like 12 views, but I don't care, like, I probably might help all of these 12 people, but people who are getting like 5 million views per video, ima like, imagine if we come together as a community on YouTube and we're trying to make a difference and talk about what we want to change in the future, maybe we could because YouTube is a really, really strong platform. And so many people watch YouTube now, so many kids and so many, everyone, and I could just, I could just see that we can really f use this to just spread positivity everywhere and of all the right reasons and all this. <laughs> oh, I'm so cringe. But you know what, I think you kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, another thing is self-love. Self-love is so important. Um, you know, it's taken time to accept that I have weird hips, I have small boobs, one's bigger than the other, you know, I used to have really, really bad acne back in school, it gave me really bad anxiety, and I just worried, I just splashed makeup on, and I just, like, learned to accept that, screw it, I think I just might have acne all my life, but luckily I went to a dermatologist, and I did get tablets for that, but just, like, if you don't like something, like, if you have really bad acne, go to a dermatologist, Talk about what kind of things you can have to change that, you know? But self-love is so important, and I think that's so important to spread as well. I want, if you're watching this, and if you're still watching this, I want you to comment down below. I want you to spread out your um, insecurities and explain why you love them, or why you don't like them. I just want to know about your insecurities, and we can help each other to love each other's insecurities. Because, you know, you never know. I could fall in love with someone who loves my wonky boobs or who one way into, who likes my weird speech problem, who finds it funny or you're going to find people who are going to love your insecurities and that's important, you know, you need to love yourself, that's the most important thing because it's your life you're living, you're not living anyone else's life but yours, so I think it's so important to think that in like a hundred years we're not going to be known, I'm not going to be known to like anyone and what what life did I live? I lived a rubbish li life worrying about my boobs <laughs> you know just love it and just accept it and just live life do crazy things love who you want to love come out as gay be proud of it just think about the massive LGBT is such 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 a big community and just think about how much love and how much support you're going to get 
from people who support it. Like, at the end of the day, not everyone is going to support it. It's sad to think that, but it's true, not everyone is going to support that. But just find the people who will, and they'll love you, you'll love yourself, and you'll live such an amazing life, being happy, loving who you want to love, and being who you want to be. And I think, I think it's so important to just think that life is so, 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 so short to worry about weird things like that. But I want to live a life of just full of happiness and just appreciating, pre appreciating everything and not taking anything for granted and just living a life of happiness. And that's what I want for my viewers as well. So that's the whole point of me, me making this video. I just really wanted you guys to understand me and understand why I'm making YouTube. Obviously I'm gonna, I want to make funny videos and I want to have fun making YouTube and doing reactive videos. But I also want you to know that no matter who you are, you're welcome on my channel. I don't want any hate on my channel. And I just want love and equality and just happiness. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm getting, like, weird. But, yeah, I wanted to make this video for ages, but i just never really, like, been confident to. And I've just been too scared to. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you see a comment in the comment section, reply a joke, reply a reason why they should love themselves, and just spread happiness in the comment section. If you do comment, um, I will too. I'll, I'll put some jokes down there. And I just want to make you guys happy and just like, just know it's okay. At the end of the day, you're only human. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to talk to someone, Talk to someone and don't ever be afraid to because at the end of the day it's you you're helping, no one else and that's the most important thing. And just love yourself, learn to love your insecurities. If we were all made the same, if we all looked the same, it so be the world would be so boring. Yeah, that's it really. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye!